What's up guys, I'm back with another movie review. Actually two in this one, I don't do these combo reviews very often, but it just made sense in this case. Um, this is two actually short films, and they are Dancing Outlaw and Dancing Outlaw 2. These are both documentary shorts, they each run about half an hour long. Um, if you're not familiar with Jessica White, um, he basically carried on the tradition of his father, D. Ray White, who was a world famous tap dancer. Um, they lived in Boone County, West Virginia, in the uh, Appala in the Appalachian Hills, it's a it's a from looking at the documentary, it's a pretty crazy place to live. Um, Jesco is very upfront that he's uh, you know battled his demons as far as uh, huffing gasoline and lighter fluid. He's done a lot of crazy stuff, been arrested. He grew up in uh, you know pretty much abject poverty, but he was a he was a skilled dancer. And as the documentary tells, though, he was performing for like you know pizza and you know instead of you know going out and really getting his art out to the world. And then they made somebody made this documentary and ended up on a PBS series called Different Drummers. And it's just, it's mind blowing. In the world of like reality TV, and even now documentaries seem like they kind of have a, an agenda or, you know, staged elements to them. There is no pretense to uh, Dancing Outlaw. Jesco White is extremely candid, extremely open and honest. And it's, it's almost surreal, like to believe that this is a real guy and that these things really happened to him and that like, it, it's a crazy story um, and his family is just as open and just as honest it's such an interesting place um, or like such an it's such an interesting documentary that just amazes me that that all this is real I mean it definitely proves that you know truth is stranger than fiction even in half an hour it packs so much stuff in here it's there's a reason that it's like a legendary documentary I'll just say that um, Dancing Outlaw 2 picks up years later after Jesco has gotten some uh, notoriety from the first Dancing Outlaw uh, it follows him to Hollywood when he's going to shoot a guest uh, appearance on Roseanne, uh, on the old show Roseanne. And it's sim more of the same. It's just kind of seeing him interact with a new group of people, seeing him outside of his usual element. It's, I mean, anything with, with Jessica White is going to be at least interesting to watch, but I don't think it's quite as colorful, as interesting as the original Dancing Outlaw. But it's still, you know, very, very few things in life are as interesting as Dancing Outlaw. It's really interesting. I mean, where else can you see Tom Arnold give a guy money to have his swastika tattoos removed and he immediately like takes the cash and then goes directly to the tattoo shop to get him covered up? So it's a really weird, uh, it's same thing, really colorful, really offbeat. Again, just truth stranger than fiction. Um, if, you, if you're interested in Jessica White, uh, a little bit easier to find maybe is the Wild and Wonderful Whites of West Virginia, which I'll do a separate review of that because that's its whole, that's a whole other thing in and of itself. Uh, but Dancing Outlaw is available on DVD with Dancing Outlaw 2, and there's also a bunch of outtakes. So you get both movies and a bunch of scenes that were removed. I mean, for together they're an hour long, and it's just, it's a wild, incredibly colorful documentary that just shows, you know, a, a slice of life that probably most of us can't even imagine. And I mean, Jesco, for all of his faults and everything, he's just so open and so... Uh, I mean, it's scary how open he is, to be honest, but he's just a super interesting guy, you know, and I just I just think the documentaries are great. Wild and Wonderful Whites of West Virginia is great, too, but I'll do, like I said, I'll do a separate review for that one. Um, the DVD looks like it might be out of print. It looks like there's some copies on eBay for a reasonable price, but on Amazon and everything, it's super expensive. Maybe there's a website, specialty website, somewhere that sells them. I'm not sure. Uh, but try to find them online. Check them out. They're really, really interesting. If you like, even if you don't like documentaries, yeah, I think you should give these a try. Um, if you want to read my full reviews of Dancing Outlaw and Dancing Outlaw 2, you can go to my website, markfusion.com, and check those out, as well as thousands of other movie reviews, including some other documentaries. And uh, there's also hundreds of movie reviews right here in my YouTube playlist, as always. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you like it, please do subscribe. And if you really, 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 really like the videos, check out my website and then use my links there to help me get even more movies to review. So thank you so much for checking this out. Dancing Outlaw, Hall of Fame level stuff. Amazing. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon.